Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Country Spotlight. Today, we are finally playing the final Baltic nation on our list. We've done Estonia, we've done Lithuania, and now we're finally playing Latvia. We're going to be using Toponic's map for this. It's got over a thousand hand-picked locations throughout the country of Latvia, so this should be a pretty good map to play. I'm not too sure what to expect with this. Hopefully, we don't end up on too many small dirt roads, but we will just have to see here. Let's get started with the challenge. Of course, we're doing a three minutes moving challenge, as we always do, so if you want to try this one, out the link is in the description go play that right now okay you played the challenge perfect let's go ahead and get started with my attempt here we go three minutes per round and yeah we're starting on a dirt road which of course isn't ideal but then again there are quite a few locations like this throughout the baltic nations so we're gonna head this way and hopefully make our way out to a larger road or a town or something and just hopefully get more information because right now we have nothing so we just got to keep on moving so, okay, good. Looks like something's happening up here. So, Aizpute, 16 kilometers to the east. Now, I'm going to apologize in advance for my terrible pronunciations of these place names, but that town is 16 to the east. So, we have that. Uh, now, this way, we've got a bunch of blurred out stuff. Chirava is 18 to the north, and then to our south, Priekule is 30. So, we got a bunch of towns. They're pretty far away, which is kind of reassuring. It's good that they're farther away. They're probably larger, so I'm not sure if I should scan for them or get more information. Maybe there's a road number nearby. It's not looking good, though. Uh, so I might honestly just have to scan for these towns and see if they show up. Let me get back to this signpost, because they were more visible here. At least from this viewpoint. I say that now, and they're still all blurred out. Oh my god. Well, it's fine. We're just going to do it like this. So we're going to start over here and see if we can find them. pre -coule. There it is. Wow, that's very lucky. Okay, so we're <laughs> in between the two. So Chirava is to the north, 18. And then what's this other town? Gotta get that. Aizpute. So we gotta just sort of line ourselves up here. So that's that. Chirava. So we'd probably be around here somewhere. Not sure what kind of junction this is. So we got a four-way junction there. I almost said T-junction, but it's not. We have the four-way there, and then this little river, and then here is more of a T-junction, kind of. So if I can find that river, that would be really useful. It's not that, is it? No. Hmm. Where exactly will this be? This is tricky. What's this name of the river? I gotta check that again, too. Lanupe. So... Ah, oh, this is tricky, though. Is it this? Yeah, there we go. That's the four-way and then the kind of T-junction. So we started up here somewhere. Pretty far north. Now, we only have 20 seconds left to get any closer, but the road is pretty straight here. Curves left up that way. And then down that way starts curving left as well, so... Maybe here? I don't know how far we went, actually. That's probably too far up. I'm not sure. Ah, okay, so we were up there. I was a little bit too far south there, so not bad at all. We'll take the 4904 there. We were less than a kilometer away to start, so not bad. I'm pretty happy we were able to find those towns relatively quickly. Uh, lucky that they were on the west side of the country to start, so let's get into round number two. See what we get this time. Alright, we're actually on a paved road this time, which is good. So we're going to head this way and see what we can find. But it's good that we're starting on an actual, probably a more important road this time. It's always a good sign. So here is a town name as well. This is... Blurred Out. <laughs> this is still Blurred Out. My god, come on. It just doesn't want us to know what town this is. It's kind of Astashova, maybe? Something like that. Uh, we'll keep it in mind, but we know we're coming into a town heading sort of southeast from where we started. So that's good. Now hopefully we get directions to other places as well, or at least a road number. Didn't look too good, we're in and out of the town just like that, so nothing much to start. We're just gonna keep on moving though. But Astashova is southeast of where we started. Okay, here's some signage, good. Alright, Aglona is 27 to the northwest, kind of. And then this way... 
Oh, I saw road number two. Uh, Dogda is nine, and this is the P60. Excellent. So, based on what I know about the P roads, we should be more in this area. They kind of start up here and then get larger going this way. So the 60s should be around here somewhere. So I see 70s, 80s here. Still 70s. Here's some 60s. So that's 62. Got to keep an eye out for the towns as well. Especially this one. There's Aglona, yes. Okay, so that is more this way. So we need the 60, which is this. Excellent. And then this sign said Andini, which I see here. So that should be the road we're at right there. That's that intersection. So back at the start, we were just outside of Asashova. That was the town then. Good. So we're back up here somewhere. Now the road is curving around up this way. Goes straight for a bit, curves around a bit more, and goes into the town. So that's going to put us here. Because, yeah, the road's still curving up this way. Do we hit that other intersection up this way? Going west, we do. That's that. And then back at the start, we don't have much to really pinpoint with. Is this the little dirt track being marked here? I'm going to assume it is. In which case... We should be about here. Give or take. Hopefully that's enough for the 5k. I'm not sure what more I can really do in 20 seconds to pinpoint, but... Yeah, I'm gonna just hope that clicking right there is gonna net us a perfect score. We'll see, though. Let's find out. Ah, uh, it was not, so that wasn't the dirt track. Maybe it was, but it was just improperly marked. I'm not sure. The world may never know, but we got 159 meters, 49.84. Better than the last one, so we're slowly improving. I would like to get one 5k this episode, but you never know if it's going to happen. So again, we're starting on a more paved road, and again, I'm going to head this way, the opposite direction that the car was driving in, and hopefully that leads us to signs and towns. Alright, here's some stuff. Doesn't look like anything super important. So, Sejas School Sport Complex. So, Sejas might be the town or something. We at least have that. That's to our south from the start. And do we have more things here? No, just a bus stop. Okay, but we at least know there's a tiny little town here south of us. So we're gonna keep on going. Keep thinking I'm seeing signs, but I'm really not. That's gotta be a tiny town. That's probably the name of it, actually. Pajvaldiba. So we'll keep it in mind. We've got two minutes left to hopefully get more information than just that. We'll see, though. Not looking too good, honestly. But hey, you never know. Just traveling through the forests here. It seems pretty forested, honestly. Which is interesting. And here we go. This is what we needed. Excellent. So, Valmira and Rija. They've got them both. So, let's see if we can triangulate ourselves here. So, Seja. Yeah, that might be the town we're near. Um, but Valmira is sort of northeast. So, we're going to be somewhere along here. And Seja, we need that as well. That's here. So we will have come from here somewhere. I would assume, or maybe this. It's hard to say for sure. Um, hmm. Let's check on the intersection. So it's like that. Which should probably, honestly, could put us here. No, that's not right, is it? It's this one, then. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Does it curve around a lot up this way? Yeah, okay, that's the one. So we are on this road, as I thought. So back at the start, going pretty north-south here. That road is pretty dang straight looking to the south. And then up this way, it's curving around a bit. Uh, but let's see what happens when we go south, looking for more landmarks. We could try to 5k this. It's gonna be tough. Again, we're pressed for time. We have this here... And then the road starts curving a bit more. So, yeah, this is tricky for sure. We could have come from here, because the road is a little bit more angled at this part. Yeah, that, that would work. So, more like here then. See, is there a building up here? That I'm not sure about. 
We have five seconds left. It's it's all or nothing here. We're either on this section of the road or we're somewhere else. We'll find out right now. And it was not. It was up there. Damn it. Ah, oh, so close. Two kilometers away. I was just too far down. I am bad at pinpointing in Latvia, apparently. Man, but we'll take the 4820. Not bad. We were at least in the right area. If I had a little bit more time, I could have figured that out. But it's tricky with only three minutes. Especially in a country like this. All right. Round four. Limbaji, 32 to the north. Good that we have these signs right at the start. Uh, Sarkrasti, 17. And then Ikaji is 11. So Limbaji, 32 north. Ragana, 8. Can we get a road number? I hope maybe not, though. No, it's not looking good. So I think I'm just going to scan for these towns. I think that's what has to happen here. You can see all of them here, so let's do it. Limbaji is the first one. We're going to start over here. Here we go. Come on. Let's hope we have as good luck as we did in the first round. But you never know. Not seeing it on the first glance. Maybe over here more? Come on. Oh, man. There it is. Yes. Excellent. So, that's Regana as well. That is... A good thing to spot, so Ikaji, Ragana, yep. So Krasti, so we're at a big intersection here, pointing us to all different kinds of towns. So we might have come from here. Yeah, there's so Krasti, yeah, that's gotta be the road leading to it. And then, yeah, no, that makes sense. So we came from just outside of that junction, up here, and the buildings are marked, which is good, so then this is going to be that house there, most likely. So we should be about here, give or take. I mean, hopefully we get the 5k. Again, it's tough. We also have this little building there, which doesn't look like it's marked too well. But, yeah, we're, we're just past the end of this building, so... Yeah, going there should be okay. We'll hope, though. Let's go for it and see if we get the 5k this time. Yes, we finally got one. 5,000 points, 5 meters away. Feels good to finally get one. That was a nice drop for us, right by a really good intersection with towns that we could find on the map, so that was really lucky. Let's move on to the final round for Latvia and see how we can do. And again, we're starting on a paved road, which is excellent. So again, we're going to follow the antenna, go in the opposite direction of the car, and see what we get this time. Hopefully, we can finish things off on a high note here. So, Jean Pils, that is this town that we're entering going north from the start. Good to know. Little signpost here, I wonder if it's any good. Hmm, doesn't look too great. We know we're a kilometer north of the center, though. So that's good. Uh, so let's head into the center of town of Jean Pils and see what it's got for us. Hopefully some good stuff. We'll see. So here we are heading into the town. Uh, which way to go here? Let's I don't know. Let's go this way. Bad choice. <laughs> we're going to head the other way. We hit a dead end there. So we're going to go this way instead. Yeah, this is much better. Okay. So we're in the center of town here. And let's see if we got any directions to places. I would have sworn there was a sign here, and now it's gone. Here's one, though. What does it say? Eh, it's gone again. Interesting. Interesting. So we can't really read it too well. From here we can't see, so... Anenenyanki, <laughs> so hard to read these towns, and Viasati, uh, those are the towns we're between. Haven't really heard of them. Let's see what happens up here. This is much better. Tukums and Ause, so let's look for those. Those are bigger places. So again, we're going to start over here. Got half our time left. Ause is there, and that is where? To our southwest, kind of? Where is Tukums? Interesting, I don't see it. Mmm. Okay, well... Let's see, what's this town? Remte, 21. Oh, Jean Pils, there it is, okay. So I was just looking in the wrong area. So we're going to be in this town, or at least close. Starting out, we came from probably over here. Let's see where we are. So we got this road. Not sure if that'll show up, but there's something going on here. 
to the south. And then going north, what happens? It's curving around a bit, more northwest, and then curving back. And then we made it to the town. And yeah, there's the sign for it, so... Gotta be more like here. Maybe this. And then this could be the road that's marked. I think that makes sense, logically. Uh, we're not sure if it's right, but I'm gonna hope it is. So we were like about halfway between the curve and the turn off there. Oh, we're out of time. Wow, that was last second. I'm not sure if I switched in time. I did not, and I was in the wrong place anyway, so that's fine. 4934 to finish things off, 676 meters. Final score there of 24642. Honestly, cannot complain about that. Especially in a country that I'm not super familiar with, I will take that any day of the week. So let me know your scores down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I will see you guys with the next GeoGuessr video coming soon. Have a good one.